Yo guys, before we get into this video, man, I want to thank you guys for all the support on this series. And I got something really special saved for you guys at the end. So make sure you stay tuned and check it out. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome to the Ole Miss series finale as we tip off the NCAA tournament here in the first round, taking on FIU. In the end, we were just too much. This game was out of hand from start to finish. We're up 26 here with 17 seconds left, shooting some shots just to get some shots up. We don't really care about running out the clock, and in the end, we're just absolutely too much for the number 16 seed. You know, as the number one overall seed, nobody really expected this team to come out and be able to handle us. And so this is exactly what we did. Biggest lead of the day was 33 points. It doesn't get any better than that. As you see, we subtly celebrate moving on to the next round. But, you know, we have unfinished business and we have one goal coming into the season. And that's to advance to the national championship. And with this W, we're one step closer to that goal. Now, Jaden Martinez would lead all scorers with 22 points. Terrence Davis also had 20. Our main man, Ali, had a double-double. Corey Edmonds chipped in with 12. Husky gave us 9 and a double-digit assist. Brandon Goodwin, you know what I mean, had a good game with 16 points, but in the end, we were just too much. Next round, we take on the 8 seed Stanford. You know, they were one of the teams to look out for on paper. They're a lot better than, uh, you know, FIU coming into this game. But when you come out on the floor... None of those ratings on paper matter. You still have to play the game. And you see here, they're a little bit closer to FIU, but in the end, still not enough. As we're up nine here as time winds down, that shot's off. Ali comes down with the board. Jaden Martinez pushes it up, drives, kicks out the TD, way downtown, bang. We extend the lead to 12 with 14.6 seconds left. Warm the buses up. This game is over. Now, despite 37 points from sophomore guard Cheney, Jaden Martinez with his 23 and the rest of the squad were just too much. You know, when you're doing it by yourself and you're facing off against an actual team who has a lot of players that can chip in, it's going to be a lot on, on, you know, on any player's shoulder, a lot for anybody to be asked of. You see here the players of the game, Trevor staying back 14-6, and six, Ali 19-16, and 16, both big men really did their thing. Jaden Martinez led us in scoring with 23, Ali, like I said, 19-16, and 16. Corey Edmonds had double digits as well as Terrence Davis. The whole starting lineup, except for Jack Husky, Gave us double digits. He was only two points off, but we know he's not really there to score. And once again, we're going to highlight the performance from sophomore guard Giles Cheney. 37 points, 12 for 25 in the field. Tried to do everything to keep his team in, team in it. Gave Husky the business. Next round, we took on Iowa. We ended up winning that game by 25-87-62. You know what I mean? Terrence Davis, 23. Jaden Martinez, 26. Ali have a, had us 14 in double-digit rebounds. And, you know, we continue to look like the powerhouse that we are and run through and barrel through this tournament without really much competition. Tyler Cook helped out and gave Iowa 16 off the bench, but a lot of that was in garbage time. Now, with that victory, we do advance to the Elite Eight, and we will be taking on the Marquette Golden Eagles. I believe they're the Golden Eagles. They're a two-seed, you know, in our bracket, so they're no, not a slouch. My, Matt Helt is their leading scorer with 18 and 10. Theo John gives them 12 and 8, I believe that said. Trevor Moore, 18 and 2. Rousey gives them 15. This is all in this tournament. They have some ballers. They're better than us on paper, or A plus across the board. But like I said, when you come out here on the on, on the court, none of that matters. You gotta come out here and play this game. Records don't matter, ratings don't matter, players don't matter. And you see here, we get yet another blowout win here against somebody in the tournament. And you know. We are set up here to move on to the Final Four, exactly where we want to be, and we're just one win away from returning to the National Championship. Now, in this game, Senior Four, Terrence Davis exploded for 38 points and 12 boards. Matt Helt gave us 32 and 13, but like I said, when you have a team... It's a little bit too much because with Terrence Davis's 38, you still have to, had to account for Ali on the boards getting garbage points, and you also had to account for Jaden Martinez scoring a bunch. And we are the first team to advance to the Final Four. This, this table is set. It's us, Louisville, Nova, and Oklahoma State. Our opponent, Louisville, is fresh off of a 100-81 win 
over their last opponent. You see here, A pluses across the board. They seem to be a lot more fit than all the other teams we will be going that we went up against. We're the number one overall seed. They're the number eight overall seed. And you see here. That proves to help them out as they're giving us a way better game than anybody else that we've seen in the tournament. And already they're hitting a three immediately here in the second half, getting themselves just down to they're, they're coming up, pressing Husky. He's pushing the ball up court, drives, kicks out to Davis, who finds Edmonds, trying to work it around a little bit, use a little bit of this clock, give him the ball to your go-to guy. Jaden Martinez, step back, three. Ball is slightly off. Louisville pushes. They continue to push up in transition. They slow it up a little bit. They know that they have the defending champions on the cusp of defeat. If they could just get one more basket here, Edmonds locking up on his man who gets past him, but he's he affects the shot enough to cause him to miss the layup. Jaden Martinez pushes, gets into the paint, kicks it back out to Terrence Davis, sets it up a little bit, gets it back way downtown, bang. What a big shot from the true freshman, Jaden Martinez. Extends the lead to 84-16. You see the leading scorers here, Singleton and Ollie, and they get a nice pass inside the paint, which has been our Achilles heel pretty much this whole entire series. Long pass to Jaden Martinez. Tries to get to the basket. Not the smartest of shots. It rims out. Louisville comes down with the board. They're pushing it up. We know we have to get a stop. We know we have to stop them from hitting threes. Our best defender, Terrence Davis, is out there trying to lock up on number 44. They go down inside. Ali is there for the block. Jaden Martinez saves it, and that's going to cause them to foul us here with 22.8 seconds left. It's just a clock management game. And after a couple fouls, coach comes, calls Jaden Martinez over, whispers in his ear, end it. So on the next on the next inbounds, Jaden Martinez catches the ball top of the key, bang, knocks down the three, and that is going to effectively end this game here, and that is going to send us back to the national championship. Now we have all the reason in the world to celebrate. They say act like you've been here before, but you know, these kids are out here having fun. They fought hard. They battled with expectations all season long and still were able to come out here and do what they had to do. James Singleton gave us 31. Jaden Martinez ended up with 29-7. and seven. You know what I'm saying? And with this win, we are the first team to punch our ticket into the national championship. Now we're just going to be waiting on our opponent, the winner of Villanova versus Oklahoma State. Uh, yeah, uh. Bitch, I've been the man, the man since 89. Came up out my mama with goals I had to grind. That was mind over matter, pay niggas, no, never mind. Back on my bullshit, Michael Jordan in 45. I got what you need, you need, just get in line. One time got caught slipping, got caught up by one time. Had my face all in the paper, but tears to my mama eyes. We was on the block, boy, no JB, we looked alive. Shoot the dice on the F. I lost it, then made it back. Bet it up, double that. Head crack, head crack. Get the cash, get the ass. Steve Nash with the pass. Got the drive, no crash. Only do beef with the mash. Plies voice, you big mad. I be dolo, but the game's with me. Never stopping if the tank was empty. Till we touring out in every city. Meet and greet sign every tick. Yeah. All right, guys. So the table is set. The time has come. National Championship Part 2. We got a brand new opponent this time. We're taking on the two C Villanova Wildcats. There are A plus A A plus where A minus is across the board. And I think we should be able to come out on top. Looking at their stats and their game against Oklahoma State, you know what I'm saying? Villanova had an amazing performance from Cyrus Downs off the bench. 13 for 21 from the field, which you know propelled them to the to the victory. You know, Hendrick Payne for Oklahoma State tried to hold them down along with Jeffrey Carroll and Kendall Smith, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. Taking a look here at what Nova's doing in the tournament, Tim Parsons is averaging 20 and 10. Demir down. Taking a look at what oh, taking a look at what Villanova is doing in the tournament, Tim Parsons is averaging 20, 10, and four blocks. Damir Cosby averaging 17 and seven. Garrick Buckley 12 and two. Dante DiVincenzo, who's still in school, at giving giving him 15, 2, 2, and 2. Grant Abrams, starting point guard, is giving him 5 and 6. Pretty sure he doesn't have to do much scoring with the scoring he has around him. And Cyrus Downs, who had 34 last game, is actually giving him 17 off the bench. Now, taking a look at what the Rebels are doing here in the tournament, Ali is averaging a career high 16 and 13 with 4 blocks a game. Edmonds is averaging 11 and 8. 
Uh, Terrence Davis is averaging 22, 2, 6, and 2 blocks with 2 steals. Jaden Martinez averaging what he averaged during the season, 23 points, 5 assists, 4 boards, 2 blocks, and a steal. Jack Husky giving us 7, 7, 1, and 1. Hong giving us 4 points off the bench. Taylor giving us 2 points off the bench. Jaime giving us 4 and 4 off the bench. We've been here before. We know what comes along with the territory. Looking at how we match up, we average the same amount. Looking at how we have... <laughs> Looking at how we match up, we average the same amount of points. We got one more rebound a game than them, three more assists, same amount of blocks. We shoot better from three, the same from the field, and they shoot better from the free throw line. They got Parsons, Cosby, Buckley, DiVincenzo, and Abrams. It's Ali, Edmonds, Davis, Martinez, and Husky on our side. 15 minute half length, All American difficulty, CBS Sports. Tune in. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Championship Final. Tonight's game is between the Villanova Wildcats and the Ole Miss Rebels. And of course, our starting lineup. Because the kids at the point guard position should give us quite a show tonight. I'm looking forward to that matchup as well. All right, fellas, you know what time it is, man. Let's go. We got a young core out here, but they kept up with the traditions that we had that we set last year. Shout out to Markel Crawford. We don't win the tip, but we're ready to come out and set the tone. They said the two point guards should be able to go at it. Their point guard is tall as shit. I didn't even realize how tall he was. Oh, good spin move there. Stop ball. Why Why would you switch and, and leave Ali on that man? It right, works out. Push. Don't let him get set. It's been working all tournament long. Nobody wants to step up way downtown. Bang! Give me those. We get on the board first. Oh, no. All right, they're off. Oh, they're on the boards, though. That's where we get beat the most. They missed the second chance. Push it. Oh, Husky trying to get to the basket. He gets ripped. Ali picks it up for him, though. Oh, we get him in the air. Ah, oh, they made me run that super wide angle. Good drop-off pass, and uh, Martinez gets the assist. The D, Husky. That's where Husky really thrives against most point guards. He forces turnovers. Get into the basket in transition, and he makes the makes the little, little, little ah, with his left hand. Y'all know what he made. Y'all saw it. I see you, Ali. Good. That is not what I was trying to do, but it works out. <laughs> wow. I don't know how Ali's uh, uh, directional pass button went away, but the lob works to Hyman, and we force a timeout, baby. Let's go. Good defense, Edmonds. Woo. Push. They better step up. How silly can they be? How silly can they be? They better step up. You know I'll shoot it. Keep cutting them. It's good pass from uh, Martinez, and he doesn't finish. He better not hit that. Big shot. Oh. Oh, big board, though. We usually shoot 44% from three on the season. Only 38 here in this game. There it is, Husky. Get to the basket. One more. Took forever to pass the rock. Give me that. Terrence. Hit your shots, big dog. Oh, coast to coast from uh, from their point guard there. That can't happen. Got to stop them in transition. We got to hit wide open threes when we got them. Good, good way to get to the basket, Husky. I couldn't even, I can't even get my words out right now. It is also, you know what I mean, 2 in the morning when I'm recording this. I should be asleep, but hey, I wanted to hurry up and get this uh, this finale done and over with. It's been a great series so far. Here we are, 40 episodes in. You know what I mean? I definitely love the, the support you guys gave this series. You know what I mean? Holding it down as we try to work here. Up 9, good move. We got Edmonds wide open. Ah, oh, that's a good driving kick, Husky. You did your you did your job there. Trap, 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 trap. Good trap. Husky playing D. Reese Jackson on the on the break. Ah, he's so slow. Finish Husky. Oh, where's my foul call, ref? Reset it, dog. They 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 hoeing me out here. Hong's open. There it is. Bang. Why is Corey Edmonds on the point guard? Nope. Jackson Hong with a big block. Pushing. Let's go, Whites. Do you? Come on, Ali. I see you. Ah, he didn't throw it to you. Hong, heat check. Hey! Up 15, man. <laughs> Let's go. 
We running away with this one, boys. Feed the hot hand. Holly's been going off today. They're doubling. Make them pay, Weiss. Make them pay, Weiss. You feel me? All right, we're on the boards pushing. Under a minute. I see you, Jackson. Trailing the play way downtown. Give me all three of those. All right, guys. So we're going to head into the half up 12. Some good things out here from the squad. We're, we're not scoring as many points as we usually score. I, you know, we put up 40 in the first half, but we're up 12. So, you know, things are looking good. Team stats. We're shooting 12% better from the field than them. We have more assists. Our bench is coming up, playing well. Martinez only has nine points, but the team's playing better as a whole. First half stats are really uh, spread around for us. Jaden Martinez has nine. Jackson Hong has nine off the bench. Ali has four. Has uh, Husky. Husky has four, four, and three. Uh, Edmonds has four and two. Taylor has four. Weiss has three. Hyman has two. Reese Jackson is chipping in. And for the Wildcats, Grant Abrams is giving us some work. Downs is doing his thing, you know, on uh, some uh, second chance opportunities and everything like that. Parsons, we're holding him a check for the most part. DiVincenzo hit a couple of nice tough buckets. But all in all, I think the second half will continue to extend this lead and hoist the trophy. One thing I do wish they had in this game is a hop step. Like, they have a hop step animation, but they don't have a designated hop step button. Like, I can't hop step or spin when I want to. Watch Husky down here in the post. That's an easy buckets every time for a big man. 10 point lead. I really wish Terrence Davis would play better this second half. All right, he hits his first shot. We're definitely going and it's a step in the right direction. I see you, Hyman. Good entry pass. Finish that. What the? Oh, you such a bum. Oh, good pull from Abrams. Abrams not letting this uh, Villanova team go away quietly. They're looking to have a way better second half than they did the first. Good moves there. Come on, Jaden. I need you to come up big. Thank you. The defense from Husky. You better stay away from that sideline when you're messing with Husky, dog. Stupid. Oh, wow, Terrence Davis. You really threw it directly to that man. Oh, he killed Husky with the up and under, but he blew it. Million dollar move, two cent finish. Keep coming, Terrence. Oh my goodness. I hate when we go to the basket. Like, can we ever go without contact? All right, they get some contact there, but they always get their own boards. They always get their own boards. So, lead is in sing single digits again. Breakdown, there we go. No. Nope. that Hyman? Oh my gosh, bro. All right. Okay. Villanova's finding their way back into this game. I'm not calling a timeout. Y'all know how we do. We play through everything. We're definitely be out, out being out rebounded by right now, which is definitely normal. Give me my screen. Oh, they're going underneath. Dummies. Dummies. Come on, don't let Jaden get hot. Well, I mean, please do for my sake. But for your sake, don't let it happen. All right, so Nova has made this a game again. They're only down three. We didn't got a little too cocky. We've only scored about six points this half. And we continue to turn the ball over a lot. We're back on defense. Good stop, fellas. Good stop. That was that was that was clutch. That was key. Give me my screen, man. I see you cutting, Husky. Drop it off one more. Finish that text. Oh my goodness. Good defense from uh feeling over here down the stretch. Good defense from Husky too. And again. Nearly getting two steals there. Switch back, please. Only up three, man. We got to be careful. I told you these dudes weren't going to let us let this go down without a fight. Good defense from Husky. Good, even better finish from Abrams. Oh, my gosh, yo. They're on the 8-0 run. We got to get an easy basket somehow, man. That's as easy as it gets right there. Oh, man. My young guys are shrinking. You know, in these big moments, this team is full of youth. And we expected them to. Oh, good defense. That's not shrinking right there, though, Husky. Good pull up on the midi. Good pull up on the midi. Good defense. Let's go. But they leave our best shooter open. That's silly. That's, <laughs> that's stupid. Silly, stupid. I can't say them both. I try to say them both at the same time. Ah. Get caught reaching. Good entry pass. Did he blow it? He did not. Good defense. Way to, way to, wow. Way to close out, out on that, Husky. I'm not even mad. You super closed out on that. Come on, Terrence. Come through. Come through, Terrence. Better stop playing. Good defense. Run him off the three-point line. How does... All right, so now they're killing us with the give and goes. All right. Get through the screen. Good switch, Reese. 
Good switch, Reese. Good D. Not good on the on the boards though. Push, fellas. A lot of time left. No need to panic. Oh, good dribble. And of course he gets ripped as soon as I get near the basket. Of course. Good defense, Jackson. When you're still on your feet on that up and under, it does not matter. Still a lot of game left, man. We just need to stop here. Backcourt. That's definitely a backcourt. He's definitely standing backcourt. This game is full of it, yo. Good defense, Ali with the block. Push it. Jaden. Stupid. They stay back. Stupid. Stupid. Let's go. Make a stop, man. We need to stop, fellas. Let's go. Stop playing with him. Ah. Uh, it's too easy of a look right there. That's not where I was trying to go with the ball. Wow. Jaden Martinez is wide open. Give me that. Oh, cookies, though. Cookies, though. Push. Finish, Brandon. With the left. Stop playing. Stop playing, man. Brandon Martinez. I mean, Brandon Taylor doing what he does. Brandon and, and Jaden. Good help. Good no call, too, ref. But we getting killed on the boards by a guard. It doesn't matter. He missed it. A minute left. You know what I'm doing. Ah, I thought about it. It wasn't a good shot. Oh, keep going, Mark, Mark Canvas. Oh, he short arms the layup. Wow, the hook. Wow, that hurts. That hurts. Good look, too. Oh, he's, he missed it. All right, man. Hold it. Hold it. All right. 30-something seconds left in this ball game. Nobody else. You already know nobody else is getting the ball here. Everybody knew that already. Wait till uh, the shot clock comes up. That's when we'll attack. Slapping the floor. Okay, he lit. I see you. Let me get my screen. One underneath. Oh, good crossover. Get to the basket. And we finished with the three. Jada Martinez. So one of the best players in the nation. Let's go. All right, guys. So we cannot give up a three. We got to lock in defensively. Davis is just too tired. He plays great defense, but I'm going to put Jaden there. Matter of fact, no. Nah, I bring him in. I bring uh, bring Corey in because he can stick to three. So we'll do, we'll do Taylor, Martinez, Edmonds, Hyman, Ali. I like it. Let's go. Do not give up a three, fellas. Whatever y'all do, run everybody off of the three-point line. Everybody off for the three-point line. All right, he went up, and it's off. That's going to be the ball game. Let's go. Let's go. Dante DiVincenzo tried to go for the gusto, tried to put it in the hole. He couldn't do it. They're replaying uh, Mar uh, Jada Martinez's game-winning shot, his go-ahead shot, but it's going to end up being a game-winning shot. Let's go, man. They don't got enough fouls left. To, to, they don't got enough clock left to get all the fouls they need, baby. Let's go, man. Throw it up there, Jaden. And we are going uh, to be yeah. back to uh, back national bitch, champions, the baby. Man, the man. Let's this go. This is one of the better games we played the entire season. But we came out here, got it done. And we were hoisting the trophy once again. Terrence Davis celebrating. He deserves it. Grant Abrams played a hell of a game for Villanova, man. They subbed him out down the stretch, though. He was just too tired to, to come in. I mean, I believe if he was in, it might have been different, a different story. But Jaden Martinez, man, what a gutsy shot. Ice in his veins from a true freshman. Ali up here, another senior who deserves to win this title once again. Leading us and cutting get down the, the nets, hoisting the trophy, the pass, and that the is the no way to ride beef, off into the, the sunset for a series, baby. Let's go. Go. Like I said, it's Never 2 in the morning, and I'm out here screaming. Hopefully, I didn't wake nobody up. All right, man, so final player stats. Jaden Martinez led us in scoring with 26. You know what I'm saying? He shot 9 for 19, 8 for 17 from 3. His one 9-3 was actually the game-winning shot. Jackson Hong, 9 off the bench. Husky gave us 6, 4, and 6. Ali 6-6-1. Six, six Brandon Taylor played huge off the bench. A lot of great defensive plays and stops. You know, that one steal was huge. Terrence Davis did shoot the best in his final game here at uh, Ole Miss. You know what I mean? But he, he, he played pretty decently as well. 
Edmonds four six and one, Weiss three and one, Hyman two and three, and that's going to get the job done for the Rebels. The Wildcats, like I said, Grant Abrams killed us. DiVincenzo gave us 10. Parsons gave us a double-double. Downs gave us 10 and 8 off the bench. You know what I'm saying? And But we, we held Damir Cosby to just 4-4. Four and four. Team stats, uh, they out-rebounded us by 10. That almost hurt us tremendously. They got a lot of second-chance opportunities. Uh, we had more assists. They had more steals. They had more blocks. Uh, we had less turnovers, though. We were 50% from the line. They were 100%. We only shot 39% from, from the field. They shot 42. They shot 33% from the, from three. We shot 36. They had seven offensive boards. We only had three. So at the end of this season, we finished 34 and five is our total record. Absolutely insane there, man. You know what I mean? If we go ahead and take a look at our coaching, our coach report card, you know, year three out of eight, 100% job security. Our career win percentage is 75.2, 85 and 28, 31 and 17 in the conference, 54 and 11 in non-conference. We had two winning seasons, uh, 33 and 17 versus top 25, 7 and 3 versus our rivals, one conference title, two national championships. And here's a full picture of what we did here in our three years. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we had three winning seasons. We're going to have, you know what I mean, once this one is over, they'll count this one as the third one. But 19 and 16 our first year, second round exit in the tournament. 32 and 7 last year with Onati. Then we played even better this year and went 34 and 5. You know what I'm saying? We were 15 and 2 at home, 19 and 3 on the road this season, 13 and 3 in the conference. If you see here, we improved everywhere every single year. Overall record, we improved. Home record, we improved. Road record, we improved. Conference record, we improved. Po Postseason, we improved. And what bigger, what bigger shot? Could a true freshman hit than what Jalen Martinez did in the national title, man. Now for players leaving, nobody is leaving early, which is surprising. I really thought that Jalen Martinez would leave. You know what I'm saying? After this year, we just got four graduating seniors. Dominic Ali, our main man, you know what I mean? Loved having him here at the program. Take a look at his stats for the three years he was here. 11 and eight his first season. Went down a little bit with 10 and nine the second season and then here in his final season, he finally averaged that double-double with 11, 11, you know what I'm saying? And he also averaged three blocks a game. For Terrence Davis, he got better every single year, averaged 12 the first year, 13 the second year, 15 his final, third and final year here. Uh, his assists hovered around, you know, three to four a game. He uh, hovered around a block a game as well. Next up, we got Mark Canvas Hyman. He came in as a starter and lost his job. You know what I'm saying? The first year to Fermanovich, then the second year to Edmonds, but he never complained. He always came in, did the dirty work, and helped us get, get the job done. So even off the bench, he still was averaging a block a game, you know what I mean, with basically five boards. And then another senior leaving, you know, John, John Vilma. Unfortunately, you know, he never really got to get burned here, but he did get two uh, national championship rings. All right, guys, so it's been a long 40 episodes, a long journey, a fun one. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane and see how we got to this point. What is good, everybody? Yo, what's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? It's your, it's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject here. And today, we are bringing you the first episode of NCAA Basketball 10. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject here, back with our old Miss Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject here, back with our old Miss Dynasty over here on NCAA Basketball 10. And we're going to be trying to turn this football school into a basketball powerhouse. Now it's time for game number one. We're starting off at home against the ranked team, Georgia Tech. We're ready to come out here and get this W. All right, man, you've seen everything. Our guy they're looking out for here today is Terrence Davis. We're going to come out here and get this W, baby. Starting off the game, down 7 0. Georgia Tech's trying to press. Schuler easily breaks that press. He finds Dominic O out there. We got Terrence Davis wide open on the elbow, and we finally hit our first shot of the game. Let's go. See if he can get to the basket. He works, forces his way in there. He finishes with the right. Oh, they went for the steal. We got Crawford open in the corner. Bang, let's go. Tie ball game, baby. Let's get it. We get our first win of the season here at home. Players of the game for us. Markel Crawford, 17-6. You see here, we're 5-1, number 17 in the nation. Selection Sunday. Looking to see if we've done enough to get into the tournament. We finished over 500, but we were unable to win our conference tournament. Moving on to the next, which is the East region. You see, there we are as a 10 seed, taking on St. John's University. They're 25 and five, we're 18 and 15. We didn't have the most glorious 
of you know record or anything like that but we had some key wins against some ranked teams early on in the season that seemed to have uh, you know majorly contributed to getting us in the tournament for Manovich, i didn't want to go to the basket they weren't they weren't gonna let me hit it surprised we didn't get ripped right there wide open shoe wide open shoe innocent three let's go no fouls call for the double get around the screen good defense Woo! we escape narrowly Devontae Schuler is the player of the game. He hit the biggest shot of the game. I know I missed last week. I know you guys love this series, but we're back, baby. And this week, we will be taking on number four, Kentucky, here in the SEC Championship game. This dude is killing us, man. I think he gave us like 25 last year when we played him or like last game. Come on, yo. This time, we, we give it to the pick and roll, man. That shit's blocked. Whatever, yo. When when EA when video games want you to lose, yo, especially sports games, you you're losing. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm trying to get this steal. All right, go ahead and foul. Go ahead and foul. Foul. I'm telling these dudes to foul. I'm telling these dudes to foul. And they just looking. They just looking them in the face. We just didn't have an answer for Quade Green, or or their offensive rebounding. And uh, I thought we were definitely gonna win the SEC championship this year, man. But Kentucky proved superior. You know uh. It's really pretty much nothing we can do. Crawford played well, but our bigs, man, they 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 need to look in the mirror before we head into the tournament. <clears throat> We're gonna jump right into Selection Sunday, and then uh, he, here is your projected top seeds: it's Arizona, Kentucky, us, and Kansas. Like I projected, we should still be a number one seed even if we lost that game, and it looks like we will be. We get a big time 22 point victory here at home. Wow, dog. We are headed to a national title. We have punched our ticket, and we will be taking on fellow number one seed, the number one overall seed of the tournament, Arizona. Man, does it feel good out here. Markel Crawford went for 52 points, dog. Seven assists. Wow. That's his That's his biggest game. That's his biggest career game. It might be the most points ever scored in an Ole Miss basketball game. It is the night of the national championship game, baby. That's right, we finally get our rematch against number one, Arizona, who blew us out by 20 in the beginning of the year. The first game of the season, 99-83, we took that L. We were down 20 in the first half, came back a little bit in the second half, outscored them, but it was too late. It doesn't get any bigger than this, man. Let's get out here and get the job done. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Championship Final. That's going to be it, and we get the victory. We are the national champions. You see Ali giving it up filthy. Let's go, man. Who would have thought here in year two we would have been able to turn this program around and win a national championship? Markel Crawford went off for 41. He willed this team to the national title this whole entire year. Ever since he hit his groove, man, I'm telling you, this dude got snubbed for player of the year. He finished third in that voting. But he's, I'm, I'm, I can guarantee you he's the MOP of the Final Four. You see the confetti falls on us, man. We are lifting and hoisting the trophy. It doesn't get better than this, yo. All right, guys. That's going to do it here for the Ole Miss series. I 100%, 1,000%, a million percent appreciate the love and support you guys gave this series throughout the 40 episodes. We had a lot of fun, man. We won a lot of games. We had a lot of great moments, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm looking forward to the next series that we go, that we move on to after this, which is going to be the NBA 2K8 uh, rebuild. You know what I mean? Uh, that one should be a little bit longer than this one, you know what I'm saying, episode-wise and just, you know, year-wise, uh, because that one's going to be a lot more difficult. It's a lot harder to finagle, you know what I mean, getting a super good team immediately because, you know, you can't just recruit them. you got to have the money to, you know, put them on the books and everything like that. But once again, man, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please stop and smash that like button, man. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.